On your marks. And they're off. And the final race of the day is out. You have a better mile PR than I do. However, this is your first time here. So I will be choosing the bottom of the Jeez. Now you get choice. <laughs> top or top. Dude, I don't know. That ain't my stuff. Oh, I think this is for us. No, it's not. All right, all right, all right. I appreciate it. Taste our bread, all right? We stick together. Yeah. This spread is ours. <laughs> Are those two Johnny Hunt dogs? You see that? That boy. Come on. All the condiments ketchup, mustard, relish, onion. Woof. Mmm. Gotta be really cold. What's going on everybody? Just got done with the pre-meet. We are running in the Guardian Mile today, um, tomorrow night at 8. So it should be my first, it's going to be my first road mile so I'm excited for that. It's kind of a different vibe compared to like a regular race, track race. It's kind of just like more chill. Um, no tactics really, just kind of put yourself in the middle and see um, if you can win. So we got a stacked field, so I'm excited for that. But So a little bit about the Guardian Mile. It is hosted by Kobe Alexander's family, um, his parents, Aubrey and Ray. They're the one that's putting on this whole event. Um, it takes place every year. It's on this bridge. You're basically going like up like on a steady incline for 800 meters and then a downhill for the last 800 meters or so. So it's pretty fast. The winner last year was Johnny Gregoric. He went, he ran at 3.49. So it's probably gonna be just as fast this year. Um, we got pretty much the same field of athletes um, with a couple new people like me and a few others. So um, it, should be, it should be a great race, very competitive. Hello ladies. <laughs> I'm wearing my New Balances. I think Ben, you're doing New Balance crew too, eh? Yeah. Stride, great before a race. Why do I need to do it more? Race day. How are you feeling? How are you feeling, boys? Feeling good. We're in the land, baby. How you feeling, huh? Feeling good. How you feeling at home? Uh, we're about to go shake out. Shake out. Twenty minutes with Ben Allen, Eric Holt, Sam Brinkle. A lot of people are racing tonight. 
went to the Liberty Mile yesterday, so we'll get a lot more bodies in and, here in, PA. in the next couple hours. But, yeah, man, here they go. Do 15 to 20 minutes. Check out the legs. Let the body know that it's time to go. <laughs> What's up everybody? Doing a live reaction to this video. Um, it's been a while. I haven't really watched this race before, so I just figured I'd do a live reaction. Um, so we're starting on the line, gun goes off, and we're out hot. One thing I did not expect is getting out this fast. Um, you know, I figured, okay, we're going up a hill. We're gonna like save it to the final, you know, 400 meters, 800 meters to start kicking once we're over the hill. But no, everyone got out fast, and I, I should have known this, but um, Colby Alexander and Robbie Andrews were going for, for the prize money bonus. I believe it was like $500, so they're out pretty fast here. Um, for me, I, I'm wearing the black singlet. It's very hard to see me because you don't really have a lot of angles when, when uh, from this from this footage, but I'm in an all black singlet um and black tights. I actually forgot my Empire Elite shirt at home, so I'm using Eric Holt's um, black singlet from Myler, who sponsors um, our gear, who makes our gear. Um, so we're out hot. Robbie Andrews and Colby are up front. You can kind of see Luciano. Um, to the left here and one thing I noticed is everyone just went to the side of the street even though you know the finish is kind of towards the middle I kind of find, found that funny um, I'm I'm sitting off the chase pack so I'm not really in the greatest position in this race I should have been connected more towards the pack and um, I was just thinking like okay we have 800 meters up this hill once we get over this hill we're gonna just start sprinting but I just conserved a little bit too much and um, honestly I just didn't have it today I didn't have it on this day and I didn't really lock in mentally and I, I just didn't have any fight um, as we see we're through 800 Colby wins the 800 the prize money Robbie Andrews kind of falls off here Colby is um, starting to get caught by the pack a little bit um, at this point in the race I remember being right by not right behind but there was a gap between me and Clayton Murphy a sizable gap and I remember him having a runner right next to him and I remember him saying all right let's go pick some people off and at that moment I wish I was connected right um, with that little pack of Clayton Murphy and the other runner so I could kind of use those two guys and uh, momentum going to, towards the, the downhill but I, I, I wasn't able to make that move so it's very hard in a road mile it's just like I feel like it's a different type of strength you need to have like you can be in a good mile shape for the track but I feel like the road mile is you know, a completely different animal um, so I believe there's about 400 meters to go they can they come through 1200 in around 253 so they're they're flying right now um, we got Sam Preco, Ben Blankenship, and Johnny Gagorak, Gagorak up front. Johnny's com coming off of Worlds, and then Ben Blankenship is coming off the Liberty, the Liberty Road Mile, uh, that was just raced a few days back, or actually the day before this. Um, so we're coming through the home stretch. We got Eric Holt coming up um, with a fourth place finish. Um, Sam Prego and Johnny Gagorak. Johnny takes the win in 3.46, so it's an insane time. Um, beats his course record from 3.49 last year. Sam Prego right there with him. Casey Neville Bar from Under Armour, and then Eric Holt gets fourth. Um, as we're seeing runners come in, you can see me. Um, you see Luciano, and then you see me, and then Colby. Um, when I was watching back the film, I noticed it didn't really seem like I fought at all. Like usually, I'm like you can tell like I'm fighting, I'm you know giving it my all. But 
when I watch this race back and I see my finish, it's, it's kind of disappointing. It's like, why wasn't I really fighting towards the end? I kind of just gave up. So that's one thing I need to work on. But it was, it was a great time out here. Um, it's first road mile, like I said earlier. So hopefully, you know, my next road mile, I'm not sure when that is. I can actually position myself better and um, even though there's really no tactics you kind of have to still mix it up with the pack you have to be up front and just be ready for that final 400 and one thing with the road mile is it's hard to tell like okay I'm 400 meters out I'm 800 meters out you see the finish line at 800 meters and you think okay I can kick now but you can't because um, it's, it's a lot further out you can't kick at 800 meters and expect to to run fast you have to be ready to kick when there's you know 200 but it's hard to tell because there's not really any markers in, in the road miles so you don't really know like okay I got one lap to go or I got 200 meters to go so you can't really you have to just you know be competitive that's the main thing I guess so um, that's the video I believe um, Eric Holt ran 350 Luciano ran four flat. I ran 403. I think Colby was right behind me, maybe 404, 405. Um, it was an okay race for me, first road mile. So that's I have that under my belt now, going into the future. Um, but I'm looking forward to more of these. It's really fun. Hopefully, I'll be back next year. Thank you to the Alexander family for hosting us and letting us um, participate in this race. Super excited for the next one. Stay tuned for more. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I have more videos on the way, so stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Peace.